Hey everybody, Flair here with another streamer tutorial. Tonight I'm going to talk about missed chats. Um, when someone comes into your chat and they say something, if you ignore them whether purposely or not, that's probably the last time they're going to come to your channel. And um, as a streamer it feels awful when you notice that you missed someone coming in and saying hi to you and you missed a chance to make a friend, you missed a chance to make a longtime follower and viewer. That person's probably not coming back, um, unless you're lucky. So tonight I'm going to show you how to use StreamerBot to set up an alert to help you not miss those chats, and also to welcome people in. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of how I have this set up in my stream. Um, basically what it does is it plays a sound that lets me know that someone has just chatted and then it also um, sends a message to greet the new chatter. Um, this fires every time um, someone new comes into chat and that's based on the session. Not, not like a first time ever chatter but just assume someone that came in tonight and chatted for the first time tonight. This event will fire and I'll get an, an, an audio cue and there will be a little bit of extra action in chat to help draw my attention from the game I'm playing or whatever to chat and um, make sure that I know that someone came in. So here, here we go. Hey so you can hear my little sound effect, my classic hey -oh. and then um, the my bot also welcomes the chatter that chatted. That's it. Now I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set this up. Um, first we're going to add an action. Go to the actions tab, right click, click add. I'm going to call it demo hey -oh. Um, you can add which group it is for organization on this on this list here. Uh, you can also add which queue um, it goes into, and that determines like whether certain things wait for other things. Um, we can go into that in a whole other video sometime. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in my alerts queue, <coughs> and then click OK. It'll create a new a blank a new action over here and a blank list of sub actions. We're gonna add three sub actions. The first is strictly unnecessary, but I like to do this on things that respond to chatters. Um, basically, I'm going to add a delay with a random interval. So it's going to wait between 500 milliseconds, or it's going to wait between half second and two and a half seconds. Um, the values here are in milliseconds, that's why it's 500, 2500. So what this does is it makes it feel a little bit more organic. Um, rather than is the very second that someone chats, it's just like it just snaps on them and sends this message back. That feels too mechanical. Um, so this wait, that kind of little bit, of, it's not always the same delay. It's sometimes it's two and a half seconds later. Um, it makes it feel a little bit more organic, and um, that's always good. The next thing I'm going to add an action: Twitch, send message to channel. Um, hey, and then I'm going to use this percent sign, user percent sign. Thanks for coming by the stream. And that's it. Just say hi. Finally, I'm going to add the third action. Add an action, sounds, play sound. And it's going to, I can't find my heyo sound, so I'm going to use the fart. Little tooty fart. Um, and yeah, that's it. So to wire this up to the actual event, um, we go to settings, and then in this second line of tabs, we go to events, and then here are a bunch of Twitch events. There's a whole new line of tabs: general, cheers subscriptions, raid, that's where I set up all those alerts, um, and I'll have another video on that soon. Um, but the one we're interested in now is in under it, settings, events, general, it's first words. This fires anytime anyone 
comes in and chats for the first time in your session. And that session is divine, defined by this cache internally in, this, in the program. Um, it resets every 12 hours automatically. You can also reset it manually by clicking this button, which I've just done. So you can assign any action to this. I've signed my demo Heyo action to it, and we should be ready to test. Okay, here we are again on my channel. Um, I'm gonna have my bot say something, and we'll see. It should greet the bot, and it should make a fart sound, which is always funny. Here we go. Blah, 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 just gibberish. Here we go. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, setting up something like this will help you as a streamer. Um, it's helped me ever since I set this up for myself. I have, I haven't missed, at least that I'm aware of, I haven't missed any more chatters. It used to happen like once every couple streams that I'd be really engrossed in my game and um, someone would chat and I wouldn't notice right away and I'd look up and then I'd try to like engage them and it was already too late they were gone so this hasn't happened since then um, so setting something like, like this up for yourself can really help you especially as a small streamer you don't have mods helping you greet new people and buying you a little bit of time or if you don't have a lot of really active chat sometimes it's easy to zone out and kind of forget about chat a little bit you know, a lot of small streamers do it so this has helped me stay engaged with chat quite a bit and I think it'll be useful as well to you. I sure, I sure hope so. Um, if you are enjoying these videos, please uh, subscribe, share them. Um, I My goal here is just to help small streamers and um, encourage the community to educate each other. So I'm trying to help there myself. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have any ideas or things you want to learn how to do, reach out, put them in the comments. I will try to figure figure out how to do some more tutorials. I've got a bunch planned, but I'm really interested in what everybody else thinks as well. Have a great night, day, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever. Cheers.